Hey, so what's up guys? Matt here with TechDroid, bringing you another video. And today we're going to be looking at EMUI Desktop. So you might be wondering, what is EMUI Desktop? EMUI Desktop is basically Huawei's take on Samsung DeX without having a need to buy a dock. So is it any good? Let's find out in this quick hands-on. So Huawei's solution guarantees that you don't need to buy expensive dock just like this Samsung DeX dock I have here but instead all you need is a simple connector just like the one for your MacBook USB-C to HDMI I got this a slightly different type of connector as uh, it has two USB 3.0 ports HDMI port, a VGA port just in case and also a USB type C to charge my device so let's get it plugged in I've uh, disconnected my Samsung DeX we're going to be using the same connectors we get it plugged in I'm plugging in the HDMI and now I'm going to plug in my Mate 10 to the USB-C cable in a few seconds, you will see EMUI desktop appear on my screen. Oh, screen has detected. Give me a few moments. Let me unlock my phone. Yeah, pretty much. EMUI desktop and it comes on. Bam. Just as fast as Samsung DeX. So I've been playing around for a while and um, my experience has been not as positive as I expected it to be I was thinking it would be exactly like Samsung DeX but instead there's uh, some limitations I want to get my dongle, my keyboard and my mouse dongle plugged into the USB port on this adapter okay got it plugged in as you can see my mouse is moving and my keyboard is working show you let me type something out Let's see okay so there you go this is emui desktop as you can see it's not as polished as uh, the samsung dex in fact um there's way less apps that support see as you can see third-party apps and yet some features may not work properly on the, this display so these are the few apps that actually work as compared to Samsung DeX which has a way more support for apps, third-party apps at least. Um, let's try browsing. As you can see, I'm offline. Let me see, I'm actually on flight mode now. Let me just try to disable flight mode. Give me a moment. I'm new to this as well. It's my first time trying it out. Let me get... Flight mode deactivated. Just got my flight mode deactivated. Phone's coming on. Okay, so we are connected. Let me refresh this page. So as you can see, full desktop browsing. Let me search a website. Um, YouTube. It gives me the search. Please take note that this is all in mobile site. You can also request a desktop site just like in DeX. Just like on your on your Chrome browser on your phone. Request desktop site and you get the full desktop experience. Okay, let's try out some Microsoft apps. Yes, we have Word here. Let's give it allow. Let's go to full screen. Oh, so it doesn't work that well. Okay, let me turn on my auto rotate. Alright, auto rotate is on. You can still see I'm able to use my phone like normal. But of course, it's kind of useless as I'm connected to this and the wire is kind of short. But unlike the Samsung, uh, Samsung's take on DeX, on the I mean on the desktop experience, 
you're at least able to use the phone on EMUI desktop versus DAX where the phone is locked down when you're plugged into the dock. Let me see that word is not doesn't seem to be opening. Let me try it again one more time. Ah, it doesn't seem to work well, as you can see. It's not opening in landscape mode. It's just opening in a small window and it's still connecting. It's really not as polished as I would have expected it to be. As you can see, my mobile data is on. Let me allow this. Okay, I'm finally in. Right, so let me sign in later. And I'm not able to open this in full screen. Sadly. Let's try another app. Um, let me see. Just say Spotify, for example. As you can see, Spotify works well, just like Dex. Everything is working fine. Uh, full screen mode. Basically, the same experience um, as on Dex or Spotify at least, but not for Microsoft apps, unfortunately. Mm, let's see an app. Which app should I use? Oh, Facebook is not even here. That's a bummer. So as you can see, um, it is basically not as good as Samsung DeX. Even though, yes, it costs a whole lot less. But still, I would rather shell out more and get a better experience with DeX. Um, maybe in the future, there will be some software updates to improve this experience. We'll wait and see. I'll have a follow-up video on this. But in the meantime, I really can't recommend this. Unless you're going to be watching YouTube videos. And that also, I don't see any YouTube app here. Yeah, I don't see any YouTube app here. It's kind of sad to see this. Uh, but they still need to do a lot of polishing to this um, EMUI desktop. And um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Please like and subscribe. That would really help out the channel. That wraps up our video for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Peace out.